Hey there everybody, Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 154 of my Guild Wars 2 Necromancer Let's Play with Van Alessa here in the Crystal Desert, with which just looks, oh my god, it's a Crystal Desert just looks beautiful, and I've barely even scratched the surface of it, like we, we're, we're barely into it at all, like we're just kind of, uh, uh, Amnoon, kind of the area around Amnoon, and like these pyramids, that's really all we've been to, and the place is just... Just, oh, just awesome. Sorry, it's the Crystal Oasis. I keep calling it the Crystal Desert. I think the whole area is the Crystal Desert. We're in the Crystal Oasis. Ugh, apologize about that. But uh, either way, remember last episode we uh, made an interesting choice uh, about who who we should kind of... Um, which I'm surprised they like, let us make the choice kind of for them. Uh, which uh, faction the city of Amnoon should side with. Uh, either the... Um, uh, Joko, uh, the other one, the uh, Spear ones? Oh my gosh, why can't I remember their names? Just reading your guys' comments and uh, you guys were talking about it. Uh, or or try to stand their own. So it's kind of interesting. I'm kind of excited to, to see how that all goes. Uh, but before we, get, before we get into this episode, of course I want to go over the comments from a last episode. Uh, so a phonic said, uh, you could call the Raptor Oz, which would be short for the Lizard of Oz. Oh my gosh, I like that. So I think I'm officially going to call my new Raptor Oz. Which I totally forgot you can change the color of, so I gave him a little bit of a little bit of a green tint, um, you know, because he's he's got a he's got a necromancer that's wearing all green, so got to be color coordinated in Guild Wars, right? Or else people will make fun of me, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll call him Oz from now on. I like that Oz. Uh, you also said that you mentioned a, mentioned you forgot to mention that Path of Fire maps have a unique currency trade contracts. Oh, sorry about my mic there, uh, which I believe is down here. So I've got 159 of them. Uh, it's used for um, you get them for doing different things. I got. Uh, some right before uh, I started recording for doing um, the the coin thing um, that happened last episode. Uh, at the end of last episode, it's happening right at the start of this. So I'm like, yeah, there's a coin thing right here. So I just, or right near me. So I grabbed one. Uh, it even gave me, whoop, a, uh, what is it here? It gave me this here, Book of Awakening uh, to Light. So it's a tome to gain access to a rare set of collections, which is kind of cool. So I like that. So I've got some of that. So let's deposit that, deposit that. Boop. All the awesome items. Um, also, I've even upgraded my Raptor mount to the second uh, round already. So I got Roundup. So uh, Tailspin now pulls and foes to your location, grouping them for combat. Uh, and hopefully I get to learn canyon jumping sometime soon. Uh, so I get to go a little bit uh, further there. Uh, so thank you, Phonic, for letting me know about it. Apparently all the maps uh, kind of have the same uh, for Pathfinder, have the same uh, currency. It's not like different ones like you did before. Uh, you also mentioned that the decision doesn't affect anything in the story since it doesn't do the branching paths anymore. So that's what I was worried about. I was worried that like, oh my gosh, it's going to be like branching paths, going to be doing different story missions. Apparently, that is not the case. Uh, so I'm kind of kind of okay with that. We, if you guys remember last episode, we decided to side with Joko um, and uh, uh, have his kind of awakened army uh, help the city out, which is uh, an interesting choice. Uh, choice i made with uh with uh van less i'll make other choices with my other characters uh but you also mentioned that's the right idea to pick um other options with the other characters to reach this point because it's um has to do with like achievements and stuff like that uh you also mentioned uh the casino blitz blitz event yeah that's the one you go around and collect coins up which is kind of cool uh if you didn't know um but if you don't have the long jump unlocked yet which i don't uh i can still get a little bit of longer jump just by holding down uh the jump button which for me is uh, the space bar or the v button um which is kind of cool i didn't realize you can get a little bit further jump there so thank you for that a uh christian uh you said you entered uh the office uh, he was talking to two guests uh, i didn't load so it uh, you couldn't see them. Uh, maybe you found uh, things a little confusing. As you said in the bidding, beginning, he was just talking to an invisible guest uh, before talking to you. So that's why, yeah, this a little, little confusing. They kind of threw a whole bunch at you all at once. Like, I didn't know anything about Joku. I didn't know anything about um, any of the characters, any of the, uh, the factions in here like that. They just kind of, like, throw it all at you. Uh, kind of hoping you'll understand a little bit. So really, like... That choice, unless there's something I missed, like, I really made that choice just on ideas of what they were talking about not like not like any like knowledge of who the actual factions are which is which is interesting i thought they'd give you a little bit more of a lesson before that uh, but thank you christian for that uh and michael coffee said nice to see you and able to enjoy another chapel chapter in the let's play uh play so how are you liking the story so or compared to horn thorns um currently I'm, I'm liking it and again i'll see how i get into it. it's a little bit more a little bit more story driven it feels like already like it just just puts a little bit more emphasis on the story. Each each expansion, each, each 
the way you, you go further and it's a little bit more emphasis, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, I also mentioned that perhaps uh, when I finish off the story, I can just put out a small like 15 to 25 minute piece um, uh, about how I how I how I thought about it, which is kind of cool. I think I might be doing that for sure. Uh, definitely, definitely want to do it. I want to do that one. I want to do one based on Heart of Thorns, uh, and I want to do one based on Path of Fire, and, and then I might even go back and do some of the Living World stuff. Also, just kind of kind of share my little opinions on it and what I thought of it. Maybe not give it a rating or anything like that, but just let you guys know how I how I thought about it. So. Um, uh, spoiler alert, I really liked it a lot. Uh, so thank you, uh, Michael Coffey, for um, uh, the awesome comment. So thank you for that. Uh, Miguel, you also left a comment. Um, <laughs> I love I love how you always throw little jokes in there. So when you see me riding to a building with a no raptor sign, stop it right there, criminal scum. Yeah, no, no one stopped me. So I guess uh, the commander can do whatever she wants, which is awesome. So, <laughs> oh, I think that's kind of funny. But they have those, but then they don't ever stop. Like, I assumed if I walked past it, it would, like, take me out of it. But it didn't. Um, again, you gave me some context uh, th about the choices that I made. Uh, about the uh, the forge that lurk outside Amnoon. Uh, a little about the Sun Spears. That's their name. That's what I was thinking of. Um, the Sun Spears are, are really weakened right now. Um, so they're fight the Sun Spears are fighting Joku in, like, a guerrilla warfare. And Joku's not the best, not the nicest character, as you can tell, he attacked. Well, one of his uh, lieutenants or something attacked uh, the casino before. Uh, but uh, yeah, so with um, and you give a good point too. With the with the forge attacking the city, siding with um, Joku is probably not probably the best idea because at that point um, he'll be fighting the like the two larger armies will be fighting the forged and the awakened. Uh, that'll give the sun spears the ability to kind of get in there and do some some attacks also, which is good, uh, and uh, it'll. It'll make it easier for for us and the Sun Spears and Amnoon to take him down uh, after after Balthazar is gone. So, kind of like that idea. Have have the enemy enemy of our enemy is our friend for now, uh, and then we can destroy them when he's weakened. So I like that. I think that's that's hopefully that's something that's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen in the story, but I'm really really excited. Uh, again, you mentioned that maybe you're just thinking too much into it. <laughs> but uh, you mentioned the gorgeous Mesmer uh, still believes the gods are especially are essentially good. Uh, everyone acts as if you killed a puppy and the counselor <laughs> seems disappointed. Well, then do your own decision. I, I was just there to give advice. If you don't like if the counselor doesn't like my advice, don't have to take it. I'm not in charge of Ad Moon or anything like that. But uh, either way, we'll see how that goes. So thank you, Miguel, for that. Uh, and Liz says uh, you should get the bunny after you get um, three mastery levels with the raptor. Um, so like after I get this third one, because, uh, you also mentioned that I don't want to like fill up the fourth one and be wasting, uh, experience points by not having the Springer mount. Um, so hopefully I can do that. I'm not sure when I get the Springer. You mentioned, um, that the, the other mounts aren't part of the story necessarily. Um, they, uh, they're mentioned it. I mentioned uh, if you don't have them at certain points of the story because you need them uh, to get the places to continue the story. So it's uh, good getting the mounts when you finished uh, the mastery so you don't waste experience. Yeah, so um, if you guys know of points where that's going to be coming up, let me know so I don't miss the chance to get those uh, those mounts, um, which is kind of cool. So yeah, the Springer, Skimmer, and Jackal. I believe those are the four that are easier to get. I think the Roller Beetle, it's like a, a quest thing you have to do. I'm not sure what the Crystal Champion is. And I think... Um, there is the Griffin and the Sky Scale, but I believe that's um, living the next Living World season. Uh, if I'm not not mistaken, I think that's somewhere in season four. Maybe even um, the Roller Beetle might be in season four too. So I'm not entirely sure on that, but we'll see. But uh, thank you guys so much for your awesome comments. You guys are amazing as as ever, and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully we can. Uh, uh, get some more of the story done. So let's talk to Timey. It's letting me talk to Timey here. Kind of notice there's like this green glow above the Wi-Fi symbol thing too. Let's see what she has to say. Timey, do you read me? Thank you for contacting Timey's Dragon Lab. No one's available to respond at this time. Please try again later. Oh, oh, <laughs> I got like a, a voicemail thing. Okay. Uh, so what do we need to do here? We need to turn to the casino to hear Zalzember's information. So let's do that then. I'm gonna hop on my mount here. I kind of like that. Timey's got a little voicemail system. With a communicator that's only that only we have, which is kind of funny. Okay. I uh, advise detouring around our noble quarter. This neighborhood is dangerous. Okay. No that's what you say. Uh, what do we got going on here? We've got. Oh, I passed a vista up there. 
We got a mastery point above us here. We got a point of interest here. Vista over here. Let's head. You know what? Let's do the story thing first. Actually, who here is this? Again, no raptors allowed. But they let me ride my raptor in, so it's okay. There we go. Oh, that's like one of the trade stuff is. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Where are we headed to? Am I going the right way? I am clearly not going the right way. Past the Awakened Person, which sells some cool minis. Oh, you guys are injured. That's not good. No raptors in here. Again, letting me ride a raptor in here, even though I'm not supposed to. Alright, so let's enter the instance. Blazing a trail. Sorry, I have to check, move my mic a bit. Oh, wait, we got uh, Casimir in. You should have seen Iman's face when we said we were leaving because we were invited to the casino by its owner. <laughs> Anyone who gets that reaction out of a stuffed shirt almost made me think I might like this Zalembur guy. I heard he donates generously to Cormier's priesthood. They fell over themselves to bless his name. Maybe Amnun should put him in charge. I'm surprised that council's not debating the merits of pyramids versus cubes. You might want to meet him before endorsing him for political office. Well, I guess they haven't met him yet, and I have. Oh, we got the ogre hunters up here. Okay. And Kanach. Oh, welcome back, Kanach. You are so amazing. Kanach, what are you doing here? Enjoying your time off? Freedom is a sweet drink, Commander. I've been busy quenching my thirst. You should join us. We were just about to meet with- Zalambur. I already know a thing or two about this place. A Silvari gambler who's up 500 gold is just my cover, I promise you. Now that he's free, it's okay if I kill him, right? <laughs> Gentlemen, let's keep it civil. How about it, Kanak? While my freedom's been gratifying, it's also a little boring. This is much more interesting. Besides, I may have made a wager that the Slayer of Elder Dragons can take down a god, and I intend to collect. What are the odds? <laughs> Let's not jinx it, Commander. <laughs> you can much bet that we're going to kill an Elder God. I like this. Not you are... I'm glad to have you back. I was worried you are going to disappear for a long while, after you got your freedom. Alright, let's talk with you. Welcome back, Commander. It's an honor to have the members of Dragon's Watch in my humble establishment. Please, follow me. The Grand Zaheel is already back to running at full capacity, in no small part due to your earlier intervention. We have all the finest games and entertainment the Crystal Desert has to offer. Do you enjoy games of chance? When the odds are in our favor. I reached out across my network for information about Balthazar, and I think I know what he's after. Kralkatorik. You're half right. He's currently hunting down a crystal dragon, but that dragon is of last. I wonder why he'd suddenly change targets. Who among us can understand the will of a god? I do know his forged army has encampments all over the crystal desert. He stops at these camps to rally his troops while he's on the dragon's trail. So we might be able to intercept him at one of the forged camps. You've come through, Zalambor. I actually don't regret keeping you alive. The feeling is mutual, Commander. I'll take my leave now. Enjoy your time here, please. Stay away from the high-stakes roulette. It's rigged. I knew it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's check in with our guildmates here. So... Who's up for a trip to one of these camps? Sounds good to me. Let's shut him down before he's responsible for anyone else's death. We don't want to rush in blindly. And if I'm going to be joining you again, I may as well make myself useful. I'll scout the main camp, see what I see, and report back. The main camp? On your own? Seems risky. Nah, not alone. I'll go with him. Hmm. Not the response I expected. Hey, vacations have a way of dulling a blade, so to speak. Can't let you fumble around unsupervised. That's more like it. All right. 
Kaz and I will check out the smaller outposts. Actually, I'll leave it to you if you don't mind. I have some matters to attend to. There's a temple of Kormir near one of the forged camps. You can find me there when you're done. Oh, okay, so they're gonna take out the bigger, or look, it's got the bigger camp. You're gonna check out a temple and I get to do a bunch of smaller ones by myself? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Okay, so we get um, some common un unidentified gear, some uh, Palawan uh, Palawan gear, and uh, a welcome package. So that's Another personal that. victory. Ooh. We got a new skin here, too. Uh, so you're blazing, blazing a trail. Got uh, a stash of coins here. We got a mastery point. Uh, what was that? Okay, let's see what this is. Double click to open. All right, so we got an item there. And a welcome bank. And some living stones and stuff. Let's deposit that. Um, and what was that? What was that thing I just unlocked? Wardrobe. Uh, achievements? Nope, not that. Uh, go back to that for a second. Do -do -do. There we go. Um, skin unlocked. Uh, it is a back item. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh, I should be in wardrobe. Back item and... Okay. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool uh, with the beetle there. The scarab, I guess, sorry. And the, and the banners there below it. But below it. Um, definitely not for uh, for me right now, though. That's kind of cool, though. So let's exit the instance. Exit the instance. I like that you can actually walk with your character. These little are okay. So where are we headed to? Map button. Uh, oh, right in the middle here. Um, we're going to talk to the captain here. Let's go do that. Quickly, you think you know, I don't need to be in here anymore. Here's our raptor mount. Raptor mount, go! Gosh, I love the raptor. Hoo -ha. Okay, so let's, I'm actually gonna wait for this to come up for a second here. Okay, so this is if I just tap it, do a little jump. If I hold it, oh, definitely a lot bigger jump there. Cool. Thanks for letting me know about that, Aphonic. Look at that. Big jump. Big jump. Where are you, Captain? Let's grab some of these. There we go. Uh, and you're over here. Oh, it's a bridge driven here. insane by lay energy are coming from all over. All right. Are you going to help? Captain, I'm glad I caught you. A high commander. It would seem you survived the dinner vipers in Zalambor's casino. Zalambor was reluctantly helpful. He said the forged had set up camps in the area. My team is scouting the main camp, but I need to know where any of the smaller posts might be. Actually, there are two forged outposts outside the city walls. They mostly provide reinforcements and tactical support for the main camp. It would make sense to take those out before attacking the main camp, then. Kill the cavalry before they can come to the rescue. And it might cut back their raids on our city. You'll find one outpost to the north, and the other to the east. I've posted my cavaliers outside them. They can fill you in on what to expect inside. Alright, so um, we gotta talk to the cavaliers at the northern and eastern camps. And there's also a kitty playing up here. What are you doing up here, kitty cat? Oh, that's a, that's a really cute little quaggin toy. Can you give me one of these fa fancy looking weapons here? No? Okay. Alright. Oh, looks like uh, of creatures driven insane by lay energy are looks like they're under home. attack here. So let's um see if we can go help out. Some of my pets here really get there. Go forth, my minion. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! They're not. I was expecting to be awakened. No. <laughs> sweet, sweet loot. Oh Time right. To some real damage. That was. I was not what I was expecting at all. Oh my gosh! They're so cute. Not gonna be so deadly. Okay, so piece of common identified gear, uh, some prayer beads, takes a piece of it, leaves like part of receipt. Oh, spite, small amount of karma, good. And some trader's keys and some trade contract. Grab that. Thank you for items. Let's hop over and out here. I like karma. Not a lot of karma, but I'll take a little bit of karma. Okay, where are we headed to? Here and here. Well, let's head to 
to do this one first. It's right in front of us, right? Might as well. Wow. We got a new awesome tail ability here. Alright, Doliax. Does that Doliax look different than the other Doliax? They look meaner and tougher. Is that just me? Am I going crazy? Good chance I'm going crazy. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't spend a time a lot of time memorizing what the Doliax looked like, but those look a little different. Oh, they got like a little um camo netting on too. Oh, you're even invisible. Captain Rahim said you could help me. Have you ever seen Balthazar at this camp? If Balthazar ever showed up at this camp, you'd be talking to an empty tent. I'm just here to observe and report. I'm hoping to find clues on what Balthazar's up to. You can stay here cowering in the shadows if you'd prefer. Thanks for understanding. I have seen couriers delivering dispatches. They might contain intel about Balthazar's battle plans. I should have sent Ritlock to this camp. Save myself some trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ben Lester, you're like just slamming this guy. He's like, I'm here to report and observe. Well, maybe you should have attacked him and, and died. <laughs> and he's all like, yeah, I'm glad you understand that I'm not going to kill myself because of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's gather intelligence from the forge at the eastern camp. I got, oh, my, oh, I got to summon you too. Okay, so that's a forge sharpshooter. Where is that intel? I don't know where the intel is. Whoop. Let's grab so vegetables. Aha. Oh, what's this? Metal scrap. No good. No good. Oh, oh okay. I'm actually trying to find items here. Aha. Anything here? Ooh, this piece of metal appears to have a piece of discarded forged armor. Uh, examine the armor scrap. This metal armor has been specifically treated to withstand heat and fire. Its surface is scratched and pock, uh, pockmarked, indicating it's seen battle. Okay, that didn't help me at all. Anything in this temple-looking thing? There's lots of ahas. Oh, I'm guessing I'm going to have to take them down What's first. What's this? Oh, oh, metal crate. Okay, anything in here? Gotta keep looking. Around here at all? I don't see anything. Aha! Metal anvil. Guessing nothing either. Gotta keep looking. But aha! Oh, gotta keep looking. Aha! Gotta keep looking. Maybe in here. Aha! Investigate. Nothing here. Aha! Ooh, there we go. What's this? A forged plate. Uh, the ornate metal plate appears to have been crafted to fit some sort of machine. Examine the plate. The metalwork is exquisitely detailed and made of a dense and resilient, resilient alloy. It appears to be a small part of a larger set. Without the other pieces, its purpose is unclear. Okay. Oh, I'm getting... filling that up. That's good. There's nothing on that. Uh, maybe I can hear there's something. Aha! I'm saying aha. Alright. Uh, this card is filled with a collection of crystal shards from the brand. Examine the no shards. Sign of Balthazar or his herald. And no clue as to why he's hunting Vlast. But at least I know a little bit more about the forged. Maybe I'll have better luck at the other outpost. Right. Although these brand shards clearly resonate with magic, there is nothing to indicate their intended purpose or why the forged have been or would be collecting them. I wonder why they're collecting those. And I wonder what machine the forged are gonna build. Got this weapon here. Ooh, what's that chest for? Rune of Balthazar. Cool. Let's deposit that. I like getting recipes. Okay. Because they're account bound, which is awesome. Let's hop on. Oh, am I in combat still? Becoming my minions? Well, let's take out this forge foot soldier. Because the forge actually looks really, really cool. I really do like the look of the forge. Two. Okay, let's hop on my mount. Oh, be careful of those, those will knock me off of your mount. That's what you guys are teaching me. There's little spike traps in the ground. Wah! Jump! There we go. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, I've almost filled up the the mastery bar already for the third one. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna fill it up really quick. Hopefully I can get the bunny soon then. Oh, I got some vegetation and stuff over here. Is that a forged sand lioness? I don't need to deal with you. I don't want to deal with the sand creatures. You guys are just living your lives. Safari sand. Let's see, oh, I missed you. I missed you. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. A high stranger. Be cautious if you're heading north. The Forge have set up artillery at their camp just ahead. The casino owner in Amnoon told me the war god Balthazar rallies his troops at these camps. Ah, Zalambor. I haven't seen Balthazar come around here, but the Forge are nasty enough on their own, especially now with the cannons and all. Well, I can put the Forged and their cannons out of commission. Um, uh, maybe you can leave a couple standing. I really need to keep this post. Oh my gosh. These uh, people aren't like, we need to destroy them and, and tell them all. They're like, oh, I'm doing a job here. Let me keep my job. Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. What is that? A veteran sand shark? I'm going to deal with the veteran sand shark here. Time to do some real damage. Um, nice and easy. Oh, there's a forge guy right beside you. And again, these cavalier spikes up here. Are these spikes here if you're mounted? I believe you're mounted. Knocks you off. Pull up like that. Oh, and it cripples you too. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay. Forged forerunner here. Go down. All in formation! Patrol the area. Let's go take those guys down. Get the the forged raiding party. Let's do that. Oh, I guess it doesn't need to use my... Time to do some real damage. Reinforcements incoming! Oh, we have reinforcements coming? Oh, they have reinforcements raining six? Oh my gosh. Hurts, doesn't it? Time to do some real damage. Down. Share those corruptions around a little bit. Make them run away. Haha, <laughs> take that. Man, I'm starting to feel a lot more powerful, that's for sure. You can hear the last one. Eh, yeah, event completed! Yay! Did it all by myself. Okay, don't even walk over them, apparently, too. Good to know. Uh, sabotage cannon and emplacements. Emplacements with explosives. Do I have explosives on me? I must. Time to do some real damage. Okay, where are the cannons? Oh, there's one cannon. Cannon up there. So some of my pets here. My Forged Forerunners, which looks so cool. The Forged look awesome. Too slow. You just say it's too slow as you're dying. That's sad. Oh. They have prowlers that look like, uh, little guys. Ooh, flax. Apparently flax is very important for crafting and stuff, so I get flax whenever I can. Right. Oh, looks like I had a bomb there. Do I have to get the bomb from somewhere? Oh, there we go. This looks interesting. Uh, plant explosives. There we go. Yeah, I guess I didn't catch oh, it. This is the blue spawn, I think. There's another one. Oh, there's not even any cannons there. Any bombs there? Let's 
got these bombs here. Plant that there. Aha! Oh. There's a couple bombs that take them out. Or just attack them. Thanks, guys. Thanks, my minions. You guys are amazing. Put that down. Ooh, who are you? Let's try to help out with take out this forest assembly right here. They look big and awesome. Let's just blow these up. Yeah, it's just, it's just easier to attack them. Oh, you're trying to build another? Oh, they have to build them! That's cool! It's invulnerable when you're playing too. Okay. I'm gonna take out this forged soldier then. Over here. You've already built this one back up. I mean, they build them really quick, so what's the point of blowing them up almost? Let's plant this. Okay. There we go. Oh, not quite finished. Take this. Put this down here. Come, my minions. Come, help me. Should be able to take that down nice and quick. Yeah, I'm really starting to feel awful powerful right now. Still no sign of Balthazar. At least now we won't have to worry about leaving our flanks exposed at the main camp. Hopefully Ritlock and Kanak had more luck scouting it out. Oh, there's a hero point over here. Let's go grab that hero point. And I missed a uh, pistol over there too. Darn, 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 darn. Oh well. Alright, what do we got over here? Um... Somehow this bottle has survived the tortures of time. Let's open it. Oh boy. Defeat the magic muddled Dojin Jijin. Like a genie thingy. Combat is still. Feel the fury. The air attends my whim. This thing is tough. Even the power of water is at my command. Okay, but well we can take it down. We can take it down. Oh, yeah, someone's coming to help. Good job. Thank you. I like getting help, that's for sure. There we the go. The magic here is unstable. I'm yeah, returning to my bottle. Okay, have fun in there. Uh, we got a lost emerald. Let's zoom. It's a collectible. Uh, we got some runestone, which I believe I have that already. Yes, get unlocked. Some coins and some gear. Let's see here. Let's deposit all materials. Uh, is it just me, or am I amazing? Ooh. Choose a piece of light, heavy armor there. Let's grab these contracts. Let's uh, open this up. Tortured spirits of. Chunks of metal used to be used by the tortured spirits of Balthazar's army. Oh, it's a salvage item. Okay, cool. And let's deposit everything. And how are we doing for hero points? Looks like we are able to use some hero points. Yes, because I need. What's this? Um, punishment. Unleashed ghostly serpents toward foes in targeted areas. Serpents striking their targets become magical sand, uh, which grants allies a barrier, convert a boom from struck enemies into Torment and Cripple. Cool. Grab that. And I just have one more, which I need 25 points for, uh, for Ghastly Breach. Oh. Congrats on the win there. Oh, put my things where they should be. I'm not walking around all crazy like. You'll be feeling that one for days. Oh, and we got a high draft us now, too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was feeling really tough, and then I died. 
Uh, I'm gonna get away from the veteran Hydra. How about that, guys? How about we uh, we don't deal with that right now, and we head towards the camp over here. Is anything on the way? I'm just gonna open the map for a moment here. Um, we have a little camp here with a scout in it, so let's go there first. Up here, okay. Gosh, this guy looks so cool. This whole map looks so awesome. Hey, Prairie Dog, you guys are adorable. Adorable. Ooh, ooh, there's an up thing here, too. We can uh, talk to Timey. Alright, let's sell junk. Let's set up here. It's a contact point. How do we get up there? I mean, how do I get up there? Oh, well, there's a vista up here, too. Let's see if we can find this. I gotta get up here. Probably easier than it looks. Do I have to, like, jump up these? Like, I wouldn't put, put it past where you guys to make me jump and climb up that stuff, but it looks like that's not the way. Wait, can I just go inside it and climb up? No. Okay, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Take a quick look. Hmm, I'm missing something here. I'm just gonna take one more look around it. Buckets of water. Oh, I keep forgetting I have a mount now. Maybe I can use a mount to do it. Maybe I can jump across there somehow. Maybe I can jump. Here, here, yes, and then from here to here, and then from here to here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, good. I just made it. Aha! Did that? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Good job. Here I am congratulating myself. Let's take a view of the vista. I do love vistas in this game. Hydra down there. Oh my gosh, it's so rocky and stuff. This game is beautiful. Now I gotta get up there to talk to Timey. How do I get up there then? Alright, that's actually one I don't know. I probably need the springer to get up that high. That's that's ridiculously high up there. Unless... No. Okay, let's go talk to the scout then. Welcome to the Cavalier's Way Station on the northern road to the Crystal Highlands. Balthazar's army arrived here only recently, but they're already causing mayhem and spreading misery. The temple of Cormier in nearby town of Kuali struggled to care for refugees of the warfare, despite constant attacks. If you're looking to explore, there are dunes to the south and ruins to our north. Take care if you stray from the road. Okay. Can I help orient you, Outlander? Uh, what's your role here at the Waystation? I provide whatever console and comfort I can to the refugees, travelers, and cavaliers of the outpost. Other than ministry, I'm afraid all I can offer is my knowledge of the sand. Uh, what can you tell me about this area? Welcome oh. to the Cavaliers' Way. Oh, not again. Okay, so let's hit the map button here. Which way are we headed? We're headed this way. Looks like we're going to run into another scout area on the way. So let's go do that. 
Do to do. Do to do to do. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're about to level up the second part, which gives us extra far jumping. Can I jump across this castle? Oh, I can 100% jump across that. Yeah! I'll take out some of these guys, though. So we can actually level up. This episode of Mastery. Are you under the ground? Okay. Oh boy, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Let's get our big guy up here. Go down. Anyone else fighting? No. Okay. Weird ominous music there. I see someone's attacking me. There we go. Oh, so close, so close, so close. Let's talk to this scout up here. Oh, are you like up there, up there? I think you're up there, up there. Oh, no, you're actually here. Someone knocked you down. Let's revive you. Let's have to revive. Okay. We fled oppression and warfare only to find ourselves trapped in this gorge. We've been able to take refuge in this abandoned Zephyrite settlement, but there's precious little in the way of resources or defenses here. The forged prevent escape to the north and west, while the brand blocks our access to the northeast. Oh, hopefully you guys You're can. Lost. I may be able to help. Um, what are you doing out here all by yourself? I was one of the people trapped in Destiny's Gorge by forged troops. Now I watch and hope for others to escape the gorge like I did, uh, so I can direct them towards Amun. Oh, that's really nice of you. I'm gonna head up north here and see if I can grab the waypoint. It's up here. It's also some people that are down. Oh my gosh, there's a veteran fire hydra here. You know what? Let's take down this veteran fire hydra. I think we can do it. Maybe. Maybe not. I know I think we can handle this, right, guys? Right, my minions, go. Take him down. Or down. Take him to down. Yeah, take it down pretty easily, actually. I'm so used to dying, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> I assume everything that says veteran's gonna kick my butt. There we go. Good job. Do you want the jug? What do I do with that? Let's fill it. No, I don't want to fill it. Let's just drop it. Am I still in combat here? What am I still in combat with? Oh, what? Oh, apparently the head is still running around. I did not realize that. Let's uh, get you up here. Oh, it's like all this stuff's above me. All the waypoints above me, too. How do we get to the waypoint if it's above me? How do we get there if it's above me? Oh no! Now I'm trapped in this little chasm thing. Okay, so let's just get out of here then. Let's revive you first. That might bump me over the top. Oh, I'm getting so close. Oh, what's this? What is that? That looks like a thing. I'm not sure what that is. That's... I don't know what that was. It looks really cool, though. Clearly, it's it's a swirling mass of something, so it's got to be got to be something cool, right? Okay, I really want to. Okay, let's take on this forge. This will this will do it. I gotta, I gotta remember that I have uh, my raptor can do combat here. By my will. 
All right, mastery point completed. I'll just take these guys out. I'm gonna waste the experience point from this veteran warhammer. That's okay. All right, so mastery completed. What did we get? We get canyon jumping. Uh, leap movement ability will now travel much further distances. Let's learn that. Except, oh, I need another mastery point before I can even use that. Let's hop on the mount for a moment. Oh boy, that definitely is an upgrade. Whoa, look at that! Oh, I, I, I got it killed. That's crazy! Look how far you can jump now! Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Okay, um, but uh, before I do this instance, I think I'm going to end this episode. Oh my gosh, this is a huge camp here, I'm guessing. I'm going to end this episode here. So, uh, well, I'm going to take this thing down where I can. Uh, so thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching. If you guys know what that swirling um, thing was, uh, let me know down below. I'm really curious on what that that was. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys want to play some Guild Wars 2 with me, again, I play every Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And even if you guys aren't playing Guild Wars, or I normally play on the North, uh, the European side, if you guys are playing on the North American side, you can always hit me up in the Discord, too. I'll be there chatting and stuff like that. Um, you can also chat with us in-game, too. Uh, so hopefully I can see some of you guys there. I get, I get some plans for this Saturday, so I definitely, definitely want to see some of you guys there. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, if you'd like to see it, that like-subscribe button. If you guys don't like to see it, hit the dislike button, too. And as always, until next time, keep a stick on the ice.